I'm gonna guess one of the first symptoms um, is pain when 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 people come to you. Um, is that is is that accurate, or do they see other things going on before they actually see a, a specialist? Pain is a good indicator of um, something going on in the joint. However, not being able to walk for lo same long distances, sometimes sitting or flexing at the hip and bringing the knees up to the chest area can also um, lead a patient into the office for further evaluation. Why can't they function the way they could two days ago, three days ago, or even a month ago? So that's tip of pain or loss or limited function usually brings somebody to the office. Yeah, and there are, are there certain things that put people more at risk in this? You know, obviously age is a factor. Anything else that folks can do to, to help prevent some of this stuff from occurring? Age and activities are certainly pre, uh, predisposing factors. However, weight gain definitely increases the stress. Just to give a number for the knee, even though we're focusing on the hip, it, the knee can take, it, with weight gain, takes four times the amount of stress uh, because it's lowered down and has more weight from the body. So the more weight somebody gains, the more stress definitely goes across the joints. Yeah. And that sounds like uh, another preventative thing. You, you mentioned weight. You know, we'll talk a little bit more about you know preventative stuff. I'd love to touch on that subject. So, doctor, at what point um, would hip replacement, you know, be be an option for somebody? Because you, you're seeing all this stuff going on. Um, you know, surgery is a big deal. Um, at what point would you say, okay, I, I think this is something we need to consider? When it starts to interfere with function, that medications or physical therapy or even a walking aid such as a cane or a walker at times, that's when somebody should pursue further intervention.